Hello and welcome everybody. Today I report from Taiwan where I visit several manufacturing companies within the next days. So come on and join me on my trip about smart manufacturing and smart machinery. Let's find out if Taiwanese manufacturers are ahead in technology or not. My journey starts with Techman Robots, a cobot supplier. Let's go! I'm talking with Hao Jen, the CEO of Techman Robot right now. Hello Hao. Yes. So um, you say that you have the most intelligent cobot worldwide. How is that possible? What's the thing? Yeah, actually in the beginning we al already include th this uh, visual capability in our robot. So, and also we provide the user interface uh, integrated in both motion control and uh, vision control. So that uh, makes our application much easier to customers. Yeah. So uh, there are a lot of cobots where you can um, add vision systems. So what's the difference with your system? Well, yeah, for traditional way, actually, uh, user has to buy the third-party software vision for vision cap uh, vision vision system, and they also need to ask uh, the third party to do the integration with uh, Copa and vision system. But uh, for us, actually, customer don't need to understand this is vision, this is a uh, ROPA, so they just uh, use our inter user interface to use it directly. So the vision system works automatically? Not automatically. Actually, you still need to, I mean, to uh, do some like, uh, you don't need to do calibration, but you just uh, use it and uh, to do some like uh, brightness, you need to change the setting, right? So it's very easy to set, yeah. And also, uh, you can just follow our user interface and you can use uh, this uh, vision and motion. Yeah. And we are here in the demo room, so you see a lot of smart applications running with your robot at the moment. What's the most interesting application in your point of view? I think it might be this is uh, like an HEV application. And you know, for the HEV, the, uh, the accuracy of HEV is about like a 10 to 20 millimeter. So after the HEV moved to the position, so there's uh, the a variation in uh, like a 10 to 20 millimeter. Then our robot can do with our vision capability. Our robot can do the calibration based on this uh, landmark. Then we can achieve 0 0.05 millimeter accuracy. So you can see. With this uh, embedded vision system, we can do this. But without this uh, embedded vision system, you need to do a lot of calibration. Actually, it's uh, very difficult to do this uh, kind of uh, mobile application. Yeah. So um, the application works um, with the vision, vision system, but you don't need that much time for calibration. Is that right? Yeah, right. You don't need to do the calibration. You, you don't need to do the integration. So we provide the, the native function to customers. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot for your insights. Today I'm here at Delta Electronics in the showroom for industrial automation. And I'm talking to Lisa Su right now. Lisa, um, next uh, behind us you see an application for smart manufacturing. So what's the special thing here? What's smart? Okay, hi Susan. Um, so that um, mm, as a um, as a smart manuf manufacturing solution provider, uh, Delta started as uh, from a component provider. Now we have a complete uh, system and solutions offerings, and so behind us is a, uh, a real demo of the smart manufacturing smart ma uh, production line. So uh, we will be able to integrate uh, the Delta robot. Uh, so you can see that there are three uh, robot stations, uh, which can take uh, the order from our customers so uh, customers can place their orders on the MES system on our cloud base and then those work o uh, those orders will generate the work orders uh, in our uh, in our system and then we'll release the instruction to the uh, workstation here okay gr uh, very interesting so you can uh, do customers customized products as well uh, yes, we can. So uh, in this work, uh, robot workstation, uh, we can produce uh, two different uh, products at the same time. So one is the card, uh, uh, one is the business card holder case, and then the other one is the pen. And along with the different product, we can also do the product customization. So for each of the product, you can see that the, there is a name of the customer engraved on top of the products. 
so we can do the uh, different uh, mix of products and also the co uh, product customization. And what about the future? So I, th I heard you already have a cloud solution as well. So uh, this is the next step in smart manufacturing. What's uh, what can you do with this uh, cloud solution? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, this uh, uh, smart manufacturing line is also embedded with our cloud solution. So the customer they place order on the MES system in our uh, cloud uh, platform, and then those uh, information will be pushed to the uh, production uh, management. Uh, system and then so this uh, workstation will uh, carry out the uh, the, pr uh, the flexible production and deliver the products to our customers. And can you save time or money with this these types of smart manufacturing? Yeah, sure. For this kind of smart ma manufacturing, that can the benefits are that uh, we can bring the the short term time to market. Uh, we can offer the that will be a lower cost solution and also with better quality. Okay, thank you, Lisa, for your insights. Hello again. It's my third day now in Taiwan, and I'm visiting Hywin Microsystems today. And that's why I'm talking to Koi Su, the president of this company. Koi, um, so do you see any difference between what we call Industry 4.0 in Germany and how you say here in Taiwan uh, smart machinery or smart manufacturing? Yes, uh, Hywin... Uh Germany is actually uh, our role model. Uh, Germany uh, uh, introduced Industry 4.0. I think uh, uh, Germany is advanced, more advanced in other countries. And uh, But in Taiwan, we have other area. We are very, very uh, advanced, in particularly in Industry 4.0, particularly in semiconductor and the display business. Because in this area, uh, in this industry, Taiwan is top one uh, in the world. And uh, but uh, on average, in small and medium company, particularly for machine builder here in Taiwan and the metal cutting industry, I would say on average we are have a, a big gap and uh, compared to uh, German uh, German company. So how do you want to close this gap? Uh, what kind of products are you offering? So. Uh, uh, if we're talking about Industry 4.0, uh, we are uh, a professional motion control solution provider. Uh, one of our top product is uh, motion uh, solution for semiconductor. For this area, take for example, our dry and motion controller can detect uh, the friction of the uh, friction variation of the bearing and uh, give a warning to our user, our customer, for machine builder, so that they can conduct a preventive uh, maintenance, uh, this kind of function. And in additionally, our, our uh, drive and motion solution can also provide the remote uh, the debugging, uh, debugging and the settling uh, function for the user, so that uh, you can, uh, uh, can simplify your service. So this is the current, uh, current solution we offer for Industry 4.0. Uh, in re regarding of the gaps, I think for high wind, I think very, very important is uh, one of the foundation is the, the sensor, particularly the sensor for the industry application. And uh, that is the one of the area I think Germany in this area are very, very advanced, is top in the industry, in the world. So uh, that's high wind uh, for my company. So this is the gap we need to close. We invest a lot of money in this area. And what are your plans for the future uh, in concerning smart manufacturing? I think the not only uh, the component, focus on the component and the key module development, I think the communication uh, between the module, uh, adapting the standardized industrial uh, uh, interfacing for the communication from the uh, module to module, communication between the machine to machine, communication throughout the factory and this kind of uh, interfacing uh, this is the area we also will invest a lot uh, for the future thank you sounds very interesting thanks thanks for your insights today i'm here at goodway and this is rebecca she's in uh, charge of sales um, rebecca what do you think what kind of what's different in smart production what do you need to do a smart manufacturing um. I think uh, if we want to make a smart uh, manufacturing, first your machine must be smart, and then your machine should have feeding. So you need to have uh, some sensors for them, and then your machine should can communicate. 
so you need to have a Wi-Fi internet function for your machine. And then you can get the data from machine, and you can use this data for your production management. Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, uh, different steps, and you all have to handle them. Um, as uh, you showed me, you, uh, you have this new product in the background. It's a new HMI system, which is intelligent. So what's the special thing about it? Okay. This is uh, the new HMI we designed for our machine to be smart. So of course, there are many smart functions. So first, uh, we make a uh, uh, function in seven group, main group. So for example, for tour, for program, for uh, service, and then for the um, maintenance, all this, yeah. And uh, are there already um, customers using this kind of smart panel? Yeah, many customers use already, and um, most of the customers, yes, they like this function because they help them uh, to reduce their, uh, to use a skill or experienced engineer. They can keep their um, data in the machine instead of men. Okay, is this uh, something you also is available in Germany? Yes, it is also. Uh, we have some machine in Germany already installed this HMI. Okay, thanks for your insights, Rebecca. I'm back in Taipei City now. After my visit of several companies, I showed you the concepts about smart manufacturing from four different manufacturers here. So what do you think? Are Taiwanese companies ahead in technology or not? Please write me a comment to this video or send me an email to susan.nerdinger at produktion.de. Thanks and see you soon.